you guys want to see some reptiles, we got carte blanche. Hey, buddy. Loves her neck scratched. That's amazing. Oh my God. These guys are lightning fast. Hey, buddy. So, Look at that. There's an amazing reticulation on his neck there. Rico may bite your ankles. Copy that. Holy smoke. That is a really beautiful animal. I mean, look at the tail. He does bite. This is one of the, uh... oh my God, he's gonna get me. That is amazing. He's... Oh my God, I can feel that through these boots. Whoa. They're critically endangered. Their numbers in the wild are as low as 300. The dream job. That is exactly what it's about. It's not about money. It's not about material things. It's about, do you love, you know, what you do? It is chaotic here at Iguana Land because today is oh look you got all hey, kinds of all kinds of reptile luminaries. Joe Wazalewski, <laughs> we've got presidents of US Art. Thank Woo! you very much. Uh, doing great work out there, but really I wanted to talk to this man, Ty Park. You know him, you love him. The man that, that told me if you want to be a millionaire with reptiles, start with two million dollars and you'll be a millionaire real quick. Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there. This week's shout out goes to Maggie Weitzman. No one has more passion for uh, lizards and reptiles than Thai Park. We're here at Iguana Land. Yep, yep, but yep. What is exactly Iguana Fest? Tell everyone what Iguana Fest is. We're going to have some fun here today. Right. Talk to me. Okay, so this is our third one. Yep. The first two we made about $120,000. All that goes to reptile, I'm sorry, iguana conservation. Gotcha. Okay, so it could be a cyclora species, it could be Tinosaur uh, species or Fiji species. Right, gotcha. right, right. Okay. So there are 45 different species of iguanas in the world, right. and two thirds are endangered, right? So a lot of people don't know that, they, especially if you live in Florida, you think that iguanas, like green iguana, invasive, all that. So there are a lot of money going into things like rhinos or pandas or elephant conservation but not too much money going into reptile conservation. conservation. So this is something that I always wanted to do. So hopefully we raise about 60,000 um, 60, this, this event. Okay. So that's what I'm shooting for with the party still going on. I yeah. mean, you've got a band. We've got, just look over here, guys. We've got a big tent. Uh, people are eating Sonny's barbecue sponsored this. There's so much fun going on. You can, you, with the entry, it's $30. All that money goes to uh, conservation. Iguana Conservation. All the auction get, stuff go to right. conservation. So this is becoming an annual event uh, or semi-annual. How are we doing? Well, after this one, let me let me He's let me gotta, think. I noticed that, he, like me, Ty's hairline is creeping back uh, since he's opened the Guadalajara. Yeah, Guana yeah, Land. yeah. But yeah. Um, you know, no, listen. it's gonna be annual. Okay. Okay. And I'm hoping to do one for turtle conservation in the in the Fantastic. spring. Yeah. That's amazing. So right. we'll be back again for that. But what's cool? For that 30, you get to tour around Iguana Land and see all the amazing animal species that he's having. A lot of reptiles, turtles, tortoises, iguanas, snakes. The, my favorite, one of my favorite, the monitor lizards. Right. Uh, you know, it's a real, uh, it's a love letter to <laughs> reptiles. Uh, grew up in China, uh, excuse me, Korea, Korea. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's South okay. Korea. I've been up in yeah. South Korea. Grew up in South Korea yeah. and as a boy would, you know, I remember your story, just looking around the seashore, looking for different animals, right. finding lizards. Right. Uh, so here he is now, a grown man. He's been a very successful businessman and he's put all that back into reptile conservation. So what we're gonna do today, a Aside from talk to Ty, is I'm gonna grab this gentleman right here. We're gonna grab Scott and we're gonna go have a look at some of the animals. You did grab the keys, right? I got the oh, keys. Oh, am I allowed to go? Yeah, go absolutely. A little bit? Have fun. You guys want to see some reptiles? Let's go see some reptiles right now. We've got all kinds of fun stuff going on. What should we see first? Um, um, uh, let's go see Allie the Aldabra. Tour. Let's go see Allie the Aldabra. It's gonna be a little loud. They've got some music going on here. It's awesome. This is a great place for me to interact with you folks. I've been seeing a lot of fun people. So how much fun have you been having oh, working here with Ty? It's, it's gonna, wait, hold on. You know what? It's gonna be real loud. We're gonna ask that question again, just on the other side of this rockin' music we got here. The, and the Aldabra's actually are right by the music. Absolutely. All right. Fortunately. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna sneak on by here. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we're gonna know. hop over. Yeah. Check it out. This is what I love about coming to Iguana Land. We got 
got carte blanche. We got the keys, we can go anywhere. Hey, hey buddy. So this is Allie. Allie the Aldabra, she's 35 this year. She was born in 88. All right. She's been with us for several years now and doing quite well. That's awesome, man. She's about 200 pounds now. Holy smokes, and you wouldn't guess that because all that, all that weight is on the inside of her, but this is a beautiful, and just like Nostradamus, loves her neck scratched. That's amazing, man. Very cool. All right, man. See ya, Allie. Let's move. We're going to move somewhere without music, so it's a little bit easier for us. Our giant Sulcata there, his name is Jasper. He's, uh, he Incredible. came to us as a surrender, but he's uh, full grown and the largest Sulcata I've personally ever uh, seen. Very cool. All right, let's head out. We, we picked up Joe. What's up, Joe? Joe's nice enough to let us in with a very special monitor lizard. I've seen these guys in Australia at my friend Joe Ball's house. And uh, this is a treat, guys. This is really cool. So we are in, who are we in with? And oh my God, awesome. This is Erwin, our Parenti monitor. Guys, check this out. That is a beautiful Parenti. Now, there aren't many institutions that actually have parentes in here in the United States, are there? There are five. They wow. are Fort Worth Zoo, Dallas Zoo, uh, Omaha, and then us, and then Replandia as of a few months ago. Uh, Replandia, that's our buddy uh, Quetzal Dwyer. We're going to get out to Texas. We've been to his place when it was in Costa Rica but he started a whole new facility in uh, around San Antonio. But this is a gorgeous animal, man. So how long has he been here at Iguana Land? He has been here for about four, four years. 2020. Yeah. Since 2020, hi. hi. Anna, there yes. you go. Anna knows how long he's been around. So Parenti monitors, uh, the largest monitor lizard in Australia. Um, these guys are actually quite capable of chasing down prey. These guys are lightning fast. It's lightning fast these what? guys primarily eat snakes lizards you know desert species so you've got to be be able to move quick so what's his temperament like he is uh he's a little standoffish as you can see already you see the curl, curl in the tail. tail a little bit of a puff throat but that is the limit he might slap you so Fine just with me. be be prepared for Slinky that he slaps me all the time Oh yeah. Good, good slap. Oh, hey there, buddy. So, Look at that. So, all right. So he's not bad. He just he's he's not always stoked to be uh, involved. Handle. That's but, pretty uh, amazing. Hey there, buddy. Here's and again, a decent boy. Yeah. What's cool is everyone who comes to Iguana Fest gets to see these animals. Uh, it's a really amazing uh, event for reptile conservation and Ty is known for his lizards. Absolutely. Um, and this is definitely a marquee animal, so that's beautiful, man. Holy shit. The neck I love pattern, the, you gotta the get the close pattern. up. That is an amazing reticulation on his neck there. Uh, and it helps him blend in, of course, to that arid environment in, uh, I believe it's Central Australia, like they live in the interior or just more arid habitat, right? The, yeah, they're, they're a desert species, 100%. They, uh, so cool. Yeah, all right, well, there you go. He's done. Uh, I appreciate you doing that. We'll knuckle it up. That's really cool, but there are more animals to see. And uh, where should we go next? If you were going to show someone something really cool here at Iguana Land, where, where should I bring everybody? Uh, man, we've got a whole lot of cool stuff. We've got, uh, you know, the, the ambassador species, such as, you know, Donkey Kong. We've got Ali the Aldabra. Everybody sees those, though. Um, we've got cool stuff like big head Chinese big head turtle. They're cool turtles. That's definitely. a really cool turtle. Well, you know um, what? It's it's iguana fest. Let's see some cyclora that you don't normally get to see. How about some anand anandegas? Or? Anagadas. 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 Thank you. I always cyclora say that wrong. Penguins. I don't know. How about the penguins? Penguins. penguins. Do you have the Ooh, record? Have you ever seen the record eye? Let's go yeah. see the record eye and then the pingus. They're right next to each other. Perfect. Let's go. See you later, dude. Sorry to scare you. You're awesome though. I had to do it, man. This is amazing. See you guys. Bye. This is cool, huh? So we're getting a total VIP tour of Iguana Lands. As you can imagine, Ty's busy, so I'm really uh, appreciative of you guys taking time to show me around and everybody watching the channel. There's Anna, hi. Hi. How you doing? We're gonna go see some Cyclore. It is Iguana Fest hey. after all, and this is Iguana Land. So we're you. heading there. We're gonna hop under here. You got it, I can do There's it. There's our second. Parenti. Yeah. Kill. Oh, get out of here. There's another Parenti. Kill them. Yep. So Third. awesome. So again, behind the scenes here. Um, this is awesome. 
I knew I'd be able to get some fun, fun shots of some animals for you guys. Take you behind the scenes here at Iguana Land during Iguana Fest. And I hope to see some of you guys next year. It's gonna be a little bit loud because the band is uh, playing here. Wow, a little, little Aerosmith. Okay, so you got boots on, so you should be okay. Rico may bite your ankles. Copy that, no problem. This is Rico. Dude, he's beautiful. Look at him, man. Holy smokes, we're cord eyed. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Can we get in there with Stunning. him? Yeah, go for it. Oh, we're gonna go I'm on gonna in. Come in right behind. That is a really beautiful animal. And look at the look, look, I mean man. look at the tail. This is where they get their name, Cyclora, that circular tail. They have those spines on it. When they dig their burrows, they can use it to anchor themselves. They'll actually anchor themselves in a burrow if they need to, but this is what is what <laughs> he does bite. This is one of the, uh, oh my God, he's gonna get me. He's going around. He's gonna get me, holy smokes. He's gonna get our ankles. Oh no, don't, don't leave. Come back, come back. That's so funny, man. What a loop. Oh, he's getting us. And this is what people need to realize. With Cyclora, they can actually deliver a very painful bite. Very nasty. And is he all alone? No, right, right up. Oh my God, dude. These are beautiful. Now, if I'm not mistaken, aren't these guys' offspring being auctioned off tonight? Is that records? Who's been, I not, guess maybe, that sounds right. I think so. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. We did just produce this species this year. We produced 15. We we effectively doubled the US population. That's incredible. It went man. from 15 to 30. That's incredible, congratulations. But look at how beautiful, the, the kind of light coloration of them, their eyes, their head. That is amazing. Oh no! I got boots on. That is so cool. So I don't step on them. <laughs> Gee, I won't step on the endangered iguana. What island are these guys from? These guys are from Hispaniola. They're St. Patrick That's with right. they're St. Patrick with rhinos. Get out of here, you! Oh my God! I can feel that through these boots. I can actually feel that he is not happy. So this guy's. A bit of a, uh, he's a drama queen, king. Oh my gosh. Now luckily he got me right here, but if he got there, I would have felt it for sure. Holy smokes. What do you say? Let's let him feel like he's done a good job protecting his missus. Let's get out of here. And we're going to see another species that's right next door. Oh, that's awesome. Pingus. And in, oh, I can never say it. Anagata. Anagata. It's like Chloropingus. And that's from that we island. Got an island. Yes. Look at that. Look at that animal. They have a very Squeeze robust. In. Whoa, look at that guy, man. So these guys are highly, highly endangered. These guys are critically endangered. Their numbers in the wild are as low as 300. Wow. In captivity in the US, there are only 11 in the US. That's incredible. And that's exactly why Iguana Fest exists it's to kind of bring light and funds to animals like the cyclora iguanas centinosaurs there's a lot of rare centinosaur or spiny tail iguanas uh, not to mention fijian iguanas and the lesser antilles iguana i mean it's it's really a diverse group of reptiles absolutely uh, uh you know 45 species of iguanas that's right very cool man and of course this is a cyclora and one of the ways, just like my Cuban or rhino iguana, one of the ways you can identify a cyclora iguana is if you guys look, there's gonna be a break in his, uh, at the nuchal, there's gonna be a break in the spines. This was rubbed away, okay? But if you look there, he's got a break between his tail and then the other way you'd look is they have that round shaped tail. It's, it's definitely a round tail. Uh, you look at it from the back, that's where they get that cyclora circular. Uh, they're talking about the tail when they say cyclora. But these guys are rock iguanas, they're terrestrial. When they're young, they'll climb a bit. As you can see, there is furniture, they will make use of it. There's the female, she's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. But this is a really cool species and it's one that I've always loved. Um, uh, yeah, they're intelligent, absolutely. They're, they're fun to be around. So absolutely. as a keeper here, how fun is your job? It's the dream job. I can't, awesome. I can't express that enough. 
this is my passion this uh this makes me happy you know i've yep. never been happier to get up in the morning and go to work that's very cool that's man that's what so it's about that is exactly what it's about it's not about money it's not about uh material things it's about do you love you know what you do and uh turns out you do so Absolutely. congratulations dude 100 awesome brother thank you so much for spending time with me today checking these animals out this is really a treat um guys I'm gonna go enjoy Iguana Fest. I've got a lot of friends that I wanna say hello to. I hope you guys will be here uh, for the next one. You can always find out, just follow Iguana Land on uh, Instagram. You can look them up online. What's your website again, iguanaland.com? Yes, sir. Hey, look at that, there you go. Check it out. Really amazing velvet rope treatment here behind the velvet rope at Iguana Fest here at Iguana Land. And I just wanna look at this gal before we leave. Just the scalation and the colors in that scale are just beautiful. So that's an awesome animal. Oh, she's gonna show off. All right, baby, I'm backing up. She's not playing. <laughs> she ain't playing, she'll mess you up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna go have some fun. Everyone's out here enjoying Woo! themselves. That is so cool, man. I'll see you guys next year at Iguana Fest at Iguana Land. Bye. Thank you again. Yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. it. Later.